Hi team, this is Chris Abraham. Today we're going to look at this problem, number 11 on the general curriculum math practice test, the subtest 03. And we're going to start by we're going to start by reading it and then go right into the strategy. So this is a problem where we're going to be finding the lowest common multiple of 3 digits. And I want to start there so that as we read it, you can make the connections that this is the lowest common multiple problem. And we can get right into the strategy that's going to help you solve it. So first, let's start with the reading. A book distributor is trying to divide an order of textbooks into equal size groups for shipping into cartons. The textbooks can be divided into groups of 12, groups of 15, or groups of 18 with no books left over. Which of the following inequalities is satisfied if n is the smallest possible total number of textbooks? Now, how do I know this is the lowest common multiple problem? Well, this mysterious n can be divided by 12, 15, and 18. That means that 12, 15, and 18 are factors of n, and n is a multiple of 12, 15, and 18. How else do I know? Well, we're looking for the smallest possible number of books. That's code for lowest common multiple. So now let's do a strategy to find the lowest common multiple of three numbers. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me flip this a little bit and we'll come back to this one. Okay, that's good. Three numbers now. Oh, I got one, two, three. Twelve, twelve, fifteen, and eighteen. We already know the numbers for twelve. It's two times two times three. Fifteen. Three times five. It's eighteen. Well, that would be three times six, and six would be three. 3 times 6, and 6 could be broken up into uh, 2 and 3, so I'm going to write this as 2 times 2, I'm sorry, 2 times 3 times 3. What do they share? They all have in common a 3, so I put that in the middle here, cross it out from each one of my answer choices. The 12 shares a 2 with the 18. The 12 also just has a 2. So these are my prime factors of 12. Now let's look at 18. 18 has one more 3. doesn't share that with the, tw uh, the 12 or the 15. So the 18 has that extra 3. And the 15 has that extra 5. So if we look at each individual circle, 2 times 2 times 3, these are the prime factors that multiply to get to 12. 3 times 5, these are the prime factors that multiply to get to 15. And 2 times 3 times 3, these are the prime factors that multiply to get to 18. How do I find the lowest common multiple? I take these values and I multiply what's left in the Venn diagram. The lowest common multiple is going to be equal to whatever 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. So that's like 4 times 9 times 5. What I would do now is I would do 4 times 5 to get 20. And then I would do 20 times 9. Because I know what 2 times 9 is. 2 times 9 is 18. And I uh, 20 times 9 would get me 180. So I just found out the lowest common multiple is 180. Maybe you want to go back and see how I did that with a Venn diagram. But if we now go back and we say, hey, the smallest possible number of books that can be divided by 12, 15, 18 is 180, then we just have to now analyze which one of these is satisfied. Is 180 greater than or equal to 100? Yes. But is it less than 150? No. Is 180 greater than or equal to 150? Yes. But less than 200? Yes. So in our case here, B is the answer. Team, I hope you found this helpful. There's other ways, and really cool ways, to find the lowest common multiple. But uh, this is just one of them. So check it out. Try it a few times with different numbers. And you can definitely use this in a lot of different uh, problems. It has a lot of different applications. Thanks, team, for watching. Stay cool. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.